All right, that was a good day. Pretty solid. Oh, listen to that tan texture. Oh because, boy, blue. What do you got there? Cheers. Blueberry wheat ale. Sounds like a beer to me. All right, we caught eight species if you count the bird. Here, Dr. Spencer. Snook red trout. Snapper. Black drum snapper. A host of other fish. A host of other fish. Drawing a blank right now. <laughs> and a puffer. Oh, when you tear into a My Boy Blue and you realize that a, a, a blue, yeah, Papano. Can't Pop forget Papano. A, blue, a blueberry weeded ale yeah, right. is something that you hadn't yeah. known that you needed in yeah. your life. Your mind kind of goes blank. Now now I know that I do need this in my life. Hey, that was a good day though. Caught a Cheers. lot of different fish. Got a sheep's head, which I forgot to mention earlier. A sheep's head, which was what the goal was today. Sheep's head burrito coming up. Stay tuned for the catch and go. Mm. Got a visitor helping us with our bait today. I don't think he's helping, Jeff. No, not, not a lot of help right now. All right, we're trying to get sheep head under the sheep head dock. Oh, kick the field goal. If I get a big one, I ain't getting them out of there. All right, if that happens to you, you know there's sheep head in there. The guy at the bait shop loves sheep's head. You know why? You gotta buy a lot of shrimp. Oh, off the pole! Oh. I can hook him for a second with this hook, with these circle hooks. Oh! Don't set the hook, dumbass. Frickin' fracking. Come on. I wonder if he got hit by a there we go. That dorsal is rough. Baby. All right, I did something different on that one, Jeff. Oh, and I still lost him. Pulled it out. All right, all we're doing here, we got a one out, we got a one out circle hook. Pinch the tail and just run the shrimp right through. I'm making it look easy, of course. This is much harder to do when you're not a professional. Just try to bury that hook in there as best you can. It's a dead shrimp. And just chuck them in. I saw your cast and I went crazy. Just saying. There we go. Stay hooked now. And no dolphin, please. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, that dolphin's it. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah, That's baby. A keeper. My dreams of a sheep head burrito are coming true today. Look at that bad boy. Woohoo, finally. We're cooking this guy up. I'm gonna do a burrito signature dish with sheep head. Check it out. Check out the little cutie pie Jeff caught. What a cutie. You know what the dolphin little get that baby guy? Baby Goliath. Hi little buddy. Yeah, something new every day. Oh, what do you got? A little one? Oh, it's a black drum. First black drum. Little little baby, baby black drum. You can see the whiskers on his chin. We're out here in a He's nursery. Drumming. That's cool. Oh, no no regard for the dolphin. Little bang banger. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. Swing on in here, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at this bad boy. Well done, done. Love man. these fish. Check out these teeth. Like like people teeth. It's a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Did you see that yet? Oh, I don't think he's a keeper. He might hit you there. Oh, did he whack it? Oh, Jeff, what am I doing? Trying to break another <laughs> rod. Cut! All right, that's it for sheep's head on this spot. We're gonna go see if we can get some redfish now. We got it. We got enough for dinner. Okay, we're gonna run a little experiment here. Jeff's got live bait. Spencer's going with the fly rod technique. We'll see what catches more. Anybody want to put money on the live bait? <laughs> Any takers? I'll take that bet. Spencer's going to get a workout. Yeah. There we go. 
All right, we'll get the day started. Little junior. Oh, Jesus, I just threw that down. Get out. Boy, this, I, I just, uh, just sitting down too. Pretty good for a little guy. Hey He's off to a nice start. Sheep's head, snook, let's go. Ooh, we got a thumb sucker. There you go, buddy. Check out how that wind's sounding. Because it's windy like a mofo. So Windy Spencer's gonna get picked up and just poof! You know, that's why it's good to be big. This has got blue tail. Oh, a little red? Yeah. So you'll notice the engine's running because Jeff was going to get us out of here. <laughs> Just a little sexy beast. I'm talking about the fish. I had to look to double check. Well, you look better with the fish in your hand, that's for sure. There we go. Beauty. Mr. Pelican, we got a little buddy watching us. It'll be cool. <laughs> I got off of that bird. Oh, great. Go that way. All right. What are you, Smith? What are you even doing? <laughs> this is a Catalina wine mix. Jesus, I got another bird on. Holy, doing a little surgery here, Dr. Spencer, with a great assist from Nurse Jeff. I know, buddy. He's not happy. Wow. He's got a story to tell, that's for sure. We had to uh, we had to cut it out. The wire cutters came in handy. Saving the bird. You guys all right? Yeah, I'm good. Is the doctor okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Spence. Hazard pay. Nurse Jeffrey. All right, that was a good day. Pretty solid. Oh. I got a new Belgian triple. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. Cinnamon citrus, that doesn't go together. Yeah, I win. Yeah, my boy Blue always wins. My boy Blue. He's wearing the Matrix here, Jeff. Yeah. I'm trying to shoot a video, there's boats everywhere. You know, this is starting to wear on me. But funny how that is, you have a couple of quick swigs. You know, I don't know if my boy Blue's like that, but this one's starting to really wear This on is me. good. I like this a lot, actually. Oh, anyway, canal life is good. All right, we're back from a great day on the water. I'm gonna cook up those sheep head in what I like to call my signature dish, sheep head burritos. So you can make these burritos really basically, but I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques to level it up. I'm gonna add citrus and I'm gonna do it in two separate ways. One is with this drizzy pig pineapple head and the other is I'm gonna add orange to my salsa. Ah! Let's start with the wine. Got Matanzas Creek Chardonnay from Sonoma County. The reason why I picked this wine is because this meal is gonna be full of different flavor. I wanted a full bodied wine, something a little softer. You could go with a Sauvignon Blanc here, but I think a Chardonnay is gonna really fit the bill. Sheep's head and Chardonnay. Yeah, that ought to work well. Let's get this salsa going. Chopped up an onion. I'm gonna throw in my orange pieces and I just cut them in half. Put a little bit of garlic in there. And if you've watched me cook before, you know how much I love avocado. Quick trick here. You can just slice it up however you want. In this case, I'm going to dice it. Don't go too far. Avocados are green, not red. If you see red, you might want to stop. You grab it, crunch it, scoop it. Look at that. My favorite ingredient. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. I always have to have lime juice. We'll do half a line, we'll see how that turns out. That is a juicy bugger too, holy smokes. All right, let's go with this. That orange is gonna be a pop for sure. 
All right, I've just thrown my fish on. I just melted some butter in there. I'm not worried about presentation, obviously, because this is going in the burrito. I put extra cheese in my burritos because it's going to be a little spicy. We got the chipotle sour cream. We also got the pineapple head from Drizzy Pig on there. I want that cheese to calm it down a little bit. If I don't, we're going to be going through the Chardonnay a little faster than I want, if you know what I mean. These look like they're ready for a flip. It's another great dish to cook if you're intimidated by cooking fish. You can watch it cook. And you can see I just sort of portioned it up into, into chunks as I cleaned up the fillets a little bit. Real easy to do. And I've got it on a medium heat. I'm just watching it cook. I'm watching it become translucent. That one broke up a little bit. What do I care? They're all going in a burrito. I'm going to pull them off just as I see them starting to separate the thinner pieces. Those thinner pieces are ready to go. Look at that. One of the reasons I like using sheep's head for this dish is because it is a softer fillet. It's going to break up a little bit on you. Everybody says don't overcook your fish. It's a hard thing to not do sometimes. But when you're cooking it like this, I'm watching it cook. I know that piece is just a little thicker. I'm going to let it go just a tad longer. That looks good to me. See it broke right there? Perfect. Fish is done. Cheese is melted. I think we're ready to uh, assemble. One thing you want to check is your, your burritos. See how pliable they are. You want to warm them up. You don't want to crisp them too much. What I'd like to do is get them loaded, then turn up the heat a little bit and brown them. This meal doesn't have a ton of texture to it so far, so I want to get texture from warming up that flour tortilla. Flour is the way to go for this dish. Looks like two sheep's head, they're both about 14 inches, are perfect for two people. Star of the show. This is where we level up. That orange in there is going to be the bomb. Could have used red onion for this. Oh, I'm happy with how that's looking. A little shredded lettuce on there. Could use cabbage. All right. Now I put more meat in this one, so I'm going to eat that one. I'm going to give that one to the wife. I like a little more spicy, so I'm going to put a little more of this sauce on. You can always use it for dipping too, but I'm going in. For my princess, we'll just do a couple of drops and she can add more if she wants. Okay, we're ready to roll. I'll do mine first in case I screw it up. I think I might be a little stuffed to close her off. So I'm gonna just try to flip her. There we go. All right. One thing about putting so much cheese in there is that cheese will really kind of glue these shut. That's, that's for the chef right there. That's really good. We turn the burritos over and look what we got. That's our texture. We got texture nowhere else in this dish but right here. Turn her down, just take some precautions here. I am drinking some Chardonnay. I'm gonna plate these up, this big boy's mine. For the girl. Oh, that one came out perfect. Let's see how these things taste. Well, it's a burrito. I mean, I'd take a close up of it, but it's just a flour tortilla cooked on a grill. Check out Margie back there, she's always helping me out. Before I dig in, I'm gonna to top off on, on my wine. I got a good third of a bottle left. That'll get me through. No tall winemakers out there, you could start putting them in a little bit bigger bottles, just saying. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. I got the crunch I wanted. That sheep's head with that pineapple head drizzy pig seasoning almost tastes like shrimp to me. I'm sure glad there's a lot of sheep's head out there. I'm going to be after you, sheep's head. Look out. Let me know if you make this recipe. Sheep's head in a burrito. It's, it's the texture of the fish that makes the burrito a perfect vessel for a sheep's head. Level up with some interesting citrus in there. Gives it a pop. Enough yapping. Let's get eating.